the gentleman that approached has to be off camera for 10 seconds, and that was so uh, we could discuss about returning a piece of property that I've been waiting for for almost three months. Uh, he's going out of his way to try and get it to me. So, uh, you know, and I knew he was, so it was like I'll give him the courtesy. He doesn't like being on the camera. He doesn't argue about it when he's working, but on something like that, you know, he's trying to help me, so but I just let it go. <laughs> But anyhow, back to what we're doing. We see um, that individuals are actually doing what they can to try and pop the uh, canopies up so they can see inside. I mean, it's blatantly, that's what's going on. You can see how they reposition and move things. I mean, they even had the one strap on this green and blue tent actually buckled around on the, on the piece. So, you know. They're doing little tactics to do whatever. The stuff they got gathered up there is what they're deeming to take. When there is an officer that says uh, two of those items, he's a witness for actually being removed. So we'll see what happens with that. I gotta figure out why my Ustream is doing that. Ever since that update, it's been kind of weird. <laughs> See if I can revert back or something. Go online, find a previous version. I'm not liking how this cuts out every once in a while. Down on the far end, they definitely dismantled uh, a houseless person's uh, tent, tore it down, and uh, doing whatever with them. See, look at this. See, they're doing this because they had uh, if they can pop that thing on it. Way illegal. We do have it on camera that you guys popped that one in, so. Huh? No, we do. We saw the gentleman that did it. It's definitely on camera. So when you guys are looking through, evading privacy, okay? We're not joking, man. You can smirk. You can do whatever. But you're civilly liable. So keep playing games with it. Now they're tying off. What the hell are they doing? You guys are such morons.
I have a question. Um, like uh, Wesley Chung stated over here, if something's in the park now. Now it could just be taken. I I I'm, I I didn't hear him say that. So well, that know. that's how he legitimized what all he took over there that wasn't tagged, because he says it was in the park. And if that's the case, I want to know why all these other people have stuff in the park. I don't. I wasn't there. I don't know what he said. Sir. You're an enforcer now, though. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not enforcing anything, sir. No. What am I enforcing? I'm not enforcing anything. Oh. The way your uh, the police department handled the last year raids means you're an enforcer. When you, I mean, you got to you got to remember what well, what took the place. Way, the way what? Sir? The way it was handled. Taken is because it's sitting in the park. What what stuff is that? Uh, all the all this our signs, our First Amendment signs and everything. Like just now? Yeah. That he took all that stuff that was sitting over there and some of the items and like he's wanting to take the pallets which we that belongs to someone that's why I was sitting there because we have a person that's coming up to take it but uh he's saying that it was because it was in the park now we know those pallets weren't tagged because that wasn't here that was that was just put here for yesterday we know the signs in his first amendment they weren't tagged but he says it was because it's in the park then why is everybody else around here able to have stuff in the park I said before Kevin I need to I got him on. I have him on camera. That, that, that's what he said. I wouldn't lie about it, man. You know. So if he's if he's able to just take stuff because it's sitting in a park, what's legitimizing everyone else? It, it was anybody this, by the belongings? No. What do you mean by the belongings? Like like it was, it was it by the trash can? You know? No, it was actually off the side over here. Okay. Okay. But you know, it, it, the thing is, is he's doing a Bill 54 raid right now. I used to watch the show all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. But, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, what's legitimizing? Because, I mean, the pallets definitely wasn't just sitting there. But he's not wanting to include that as part of the park thing, obviously, right? I mean, because how are you going to build 54 something that was never tagged? So, uh, obviously, he's doing a park, uh, park rule. Let thing. me go try it now. Okay, thank you. What tent were you in? What tent were you in? The little blue one? Yeah. <laughs> you just pop out? Even though they were here. <laughs> <laughs> they, they literally just drove up and started caution tape and stuff off. They didn't give us a chance. They just drove, rode up, ran out. So they, they took a bunch of stuff that was over here signs and stuff they took because they felt it was in the park so they had entitlement to it and I brought up the question about that table and couch because we have an officer that's willing to say he's a witness that it was removed so that's what they're trying to deal with God dang it. I, I really got to figure out what's going on with this app. That's illegal seizure and destruction of property. That chair, or that table and that couch, we have a witness that, from your police department that's willing to say that was taken off property. Be careful, guys. You're destroying property that has no reason to be.
see a good chair they're just getting ready to throw away. Your police department was a witness to the removal of those items. Chairs, those are perfectly good chairs that ain't broke that they're throwing out. They're supposed to be stored. Um, that couch that they just threw in there and crushed. A police officer is a witness to the removal of that. Yeah, we have that on video. We have it on video, and he said he will document it. So we're going to go down to the police station. We'll get in touch with them. And uh, we're going to ask for... <laughs> they already threw a bunch of those signs out and stuff. That... Really sorry about how this thing keeps cutting out, guys. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. I get it checked out. Go to the Apple Store or something. Yeah, I mean they're they're grinding that stuff up even. We can't even trust the police department now. At all. What? Hey, Andy. Wasn't that the, was that one of the officers? Was it him? Or was it the darker complected guy? The bigger, darker complected guy? As you can see, the tents are still here. We're still here. They're just take, taking some of the furniture illegally. I've already proved that point. They took a lot of the free speech signs. Proved that point. To where she even walked some of them back because she wasn't paying attention to Wesley Chung. Wesley Chung took, took it upon himself to destroy free speech and stuff that wasn't tagged. So... Yeah. You just keep messing up more and more every time. Kevin's trying to find answers for us.
Thumbs up, man. Here, I got a, it's dull, but I got a knife that makes it easier on you. Okay. <laughs> As they run away real quick. Find out what's legitimizing that at least. What did they even explain how that's legitimized at all? Because it's in the park. It's not a park closure rule. So. Well, they said they considered that. What the hell? <laughs> all right. Okay. So at their discretion, perfectly good furniture can be considered trash. Um. Now, free speech signs is considered trash. Uh, yeah, whatever they want to say is trash, they can just remove from the park. I, I will. That's their new cut phrase. So, yeah. And, uh, and on the sidewalk. So, we got to push that deal, find out what's, what's up with that. If you're just going to call everything in the world trash and just take it away, I mean, yeah, that's not right. That means they just went outside of Bill 54. So, but we're still here. Uh, raid 17 on day 179. We're three days away from uh, <laughs> from being the world's longest uh, occupying encampment. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, oh, oh I see coming back. This guy is uh, one not to be trusted. Got to get in his uh, state-sponsored uh, gas guzzling SUV because you know that's what we drive when we're officers. <laughs> the state's gonna pay my way for a vehicle, you know, I, and not the whole vehicle. It's just a portion. They got to make up the rest. I mean, I'd be giving me one hell of a car. I mean, instead, he spends a buttload of money on a gas guzzling piece of shit. <laughs> you know, he's just showing his 1980s redneck ways kind of deal. Very retro. Yeah, very retro. You know, that's... Yeah. It, Miami Vice had it going on. <laughs> All right, guys, we're up.